That's all right, I get myself together. Excuse the shirt, it's not dirty. This is uh, hair dye. Y'all know I normally don't come on camera looking like this. I mean, sometimes I do, but it's not normal for me to do so. I'm about to do some kale, and I know a lot of y'all may want it to see that, and I was not about to get all made up and done up just to show y'all this. It's, it's 8.30 in the morning, and this is how I look. So, um, yeah, so here's my juicer here, which is the Omega juicer. And I purchased this at Bed Bath & Beyond. And some of y'all may remember when I purchased it. My celery. I got this at BJ's. I got all of this for like $2.99. So what I'm about to do is wash these down and then cut off like the ends. Cause you know like the ends of the celery be all brown looking. turn this bad boy on and I'm gonna just feed it celery through here and it's just gonna wash it up and squeeze the juice out and then all of the uh, celery pulp whatever is gonna come through there like this juicer it's, it's pretty expensive but you can catch them on sale and uh, Bed Bath & Beyond always have a coupon. But this juicer is like the best to me because you never get any pulp in your juice because of the way it juices it. So yeah, I'm just about to feed all of this celery in here. It's tedious, it takes time. And uh, I don't juice often because I just hate getting this big old thing. Oh, well, it's not that big, but it's heavy. And you gotta put the parts together like each one of these is a different part you have to put it together um, I want to do I have a green apple I might put a green apple in here as well it, it don't taste that bad to me I rather drink this than the apple cider vinegar and also the thing with juice and it's like you have to use a lot of fruit and vegetables just to get a glass of juice depending on the fruit or vegetable because you know some fruits and vegetables are more juicier <laughs> have more juice than others. I have one little piece of celery stuck in there. I'm gonna just use this thing here to push it down because I don't have another celery to push it down with. I have to drink this cold, so I'm probably just gonna pour it in a glass and then set it in the freezer because it has to be cold. I suppose a little bit of lemon in here. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad, but I'm about to go in here and get myself together. I'm about to walk up. Chick-fil-A like I did before that would be my exercise today I am going to use my kettlebell that I totally forgot about because Jay had it upstairs in his room but I'm probably gonna do some squats with it when I get back this is the little eight pound kettlebell here hey y'all it's the next day a whole next day I mean it's like next day five o'clock next day I'm about to hop on this treadmill didn't get a chance to get on it this morning, but that's no excuse. I'm about to hop on it now. And I'm about to just walk it out to some good old wife swap on the Philo app. If you never heard of Philo before, it's an app that you can download on your phone, your iPad, your Roku, your Apple TV, Android, whatever. You can watch all of your favorite channels and shows. They have AMC, TLC, OWN, comedy, Nickelodeon for the kids. The app is just so convenient. You see, I have it here downloaded on my iPad. Just prop it up. I can watch TV while I'm working out at the gym. Y'all know I love watching TV or YouTube while I'm cooking in the kitchen. Okay, so this is what's trending live right now. So it's only $16 per month and you get 44 plus channels. You can try Philo free for seven days. I also have a coupon code for you guys for 30% off your first month bill. That will be downloaded in the description box along with the link to the app. But did y'all hear me? Only $16 per month. I don't even have cable myself. Like why? When I can pay $16 per month and get all the same channels. Like I said, I'll leave everything down below in the description box. And I want to thank Philo for sponsoring this video. All right, y'all, let's get it in. I think we're going to go to Alaska today. Oops. So my Alaska walk is going to burn me 480 
five calories, is 32 minutes, and a total of 3.23 miles. Chanel. Her tongue to the side. <laughs> she just got finished running outside, so now she all tired. You not tired in this movie? Yes, What'd you say? You not tired of this movie? Oh my goodness. I do it every movie. I right, play movie. the same movie every day, over and over again. Yep, that's how I learn songs. Like <laughs> high school musical and all that stuff. Show them your new book. She got from the um, book that you got from the book club. Book fair. Book club. Book club. Mm -hmm. I got a dog's porpoise. Mm. And a porpoise is the whale. Okay, it's not I, purpose, I, but. Okay, I think they figured that out. <laughs> well, how did they know? I didn't know. Okay. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm just on page six. Well, you just got it today. Yeah. <laughs> and you just got home about an hour ago. Yeah. I'm on this page. It's describing the uh, the whale. whale. Oh, let me tell y'all. I'm out of the 190s. Like, I've been in the 190s forever. Y'all remember way back when I used to live in Ohio, I was in the 190s. Uh, I was never ashamed of showing y'all my weight or telling y'all my weight. I have a Bluetooth scale that connects to an app on my phone. So, actually, I'll put a screenshot here and I can show y'all. I think back on april 25th i was like 198 or 196 and today i weighed myself i was 189 but um yeah when i woke up this morning i was 189 so that was huge for me because i've been in the 190s forever so my next goal is to get out of the 80s and creep on into the 70s or the 60s by the end of may I even felt a little confident to throw on some shorts. I had these shorts for at least, oh my goodness, for about three or four years. And they just been sitting in the closet. I'm like, one day I feel confident enough, even though I ain't even go outside of the house today. But uh, yeah, see, I just, I don't know. They just need to be a little longer because I do have a lot of um, like cellulite and fat right up in here. So if they were a little bit longer, I'd be more comfortable um going outside of the house in i don't know i probably won't wear these outside of the house but they were good for lounging around in today <laughs> i ain't gonna lie i do got a box of goodies here this is one of my favorite brands like organic brands target had them on sale so i grabbed up some fruit snacks got them in this little bin because i have to hide my stuff from my kids so this bin goes into my desk in the computer room so i got some chocolate chip cookies I got some little bunny grams, fruit snacks. These are some like fruit tape, like fruit by the foot. And then I got some of these fruit strips. These are so good, y'all. If y'all in Target, y'all should try these. They have them in all flavors, but they are so good. My little stash here will honestly last me a long time because I don't eat sweets like that. Now, you ready for the treadmill? You ready to get on the treadmill? Naya just asked to get on the treadmill, so I'm about to um, set that up for her. Let me put this back in the computer room. My boxes would be half gone by now if these were like out. These kids would have definitely torn into them. You could have stayed on here for a couple more seconds. So you can close it out at 25 minutes. He was on here at 24 minutes and 46 seconds. <laughs> but she burned 100 and you almost did a mile. Tired. <laughs> Yeah, good. Good job. So, you know I just ordered pizza, right? <laughs> I burned all that stuff and all my things. I was about to go back up. You don't have to eat it. <laughs> you can eat a salad. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'll have one slice and then a salad. <laughs> Yana said she wanted pizza earlier, so I ordered them some pizza. I'm not going to eat any. I had um, some lobster tail earlier. Around two, I'm still full, so I probably won't eat anything. I'll probably just eat a couple of them chocolate chip cookies and uh, call it a night. That actually looks good, don't it? You know what? I ain't gonna lie, I might, yeah. <laughs> what you say? Oh, it's y'all's, yeah. I thought you said you about to eat some of this. 
But they got two bacon then, cause I want to get one of those. If I get one of what? That's too much. Well, oh yeah, this one I got is the pepperoni and bacon. That looks tempting, but I don't know. It's not worth it. It's not. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna get one of those though, for sure. Yana, come on. You said you want a pizza. Yana, you said you want a pizza. All right, y'all, I'm about to wrap this up. I'm about to finish editing. And sorry, it's gonna be a short vlog. It's probably gonna be a little over 10 minutes, but that's okay. Like I told y'all in the last video, I'm going to Margaritaville, a resort here in Orlando this weekend. So that should be fun. Tomorrow, I'm definitely going to get my toes and my nails done long overdue, like always. But I think I'm gonna get like, um, I don't know, maybe like a bluish color, like a light bluish pool type tropical, I don't know, type color or a lilac purple color. Picking out nail polish color is like one of the hardest decisions you can make in life. Well, not if like if you have a specific occasion that you're going to and you know you got your outfit and you want to match your outfit, fine. But all right, y'all, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.